Hey friends, and welcome back to Kids Coast at Home. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. My name is Mishaki, and I am here to get you warmed up, okay? So I have my friends here, and we're ready to start the day. Now let's get started with some reach-ups, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna reach it all the way over to your side, okay? Let's do five of those. Here we go. One, two, really stretch. Three, four, five, good job. All right, next we're gonna jog in place for 10 seconds, okay? Now I know you all know how to jog, right? You know how to jog. We're gonna jog in place for 10 seconds. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good job. All right, now we're gonna keep the party going. Get our heart rate up. We're gonna do, do 10 jumping jacks, okay? 10, can y'all do that? All right, let's do 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, friends, now we're gonna go into our dance segment, okay? And our friend Weston's gonna show us a really cool dance. Weston, why don't you show us what it looks like? Okay, there it is. All right, let's do that for ten. You ready? Let's do it. Two. Am I doing this right? Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Good job. Y'all got some cool dance moves. I saw y'all at home. You're looking great. Now let's head over with our friend Kaylee for some fun games. Hey everyone, welcome to our first game of the day. It is one of Jackie's favorites. Yes. It's trivia. trivia. Specifically, pizza trivia. Mm. I know. I love pizza. What's your favorite kind of pizza? I love a good cheese pizza. Okay. But okay. I do you love a good meat lovers? Here okay. There. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I am a fan of like a simplified supreme. Mm. I want like pepperoni and onions and peppers. Yes. But not like everything. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna just be answering some questions about pizza. Yes. See how much we know about one of our favorite things to eat. Yeah. All right. Let's go with our first question. What is considered the birthplace of pizza? Is it A, Paris, France, B, Naples, Italy, C, Madrid, Spain, or D, Athens, Greece? Hmm. Italy feels right. Yeah, like I wanna say Italy, but I'm like, is that is I it know. tricky? It might be. What I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with B, I'm Naples, gonna... Italy. What do you guys think? All right, let's see. Okay. Yes, we got it, okay. All right. Whew. If we started out with a wrong answer on yeah. pizza trivia, I was gonna be a little, a little freaked out. All right, next one. What is the busiest pizza chain? A, Little Caesars, B, Papa John's, C, Domino's, or D, Pizza Hut? The busiest? Which is your favorite out of those? Uh, well, I used to work at Pizza Hut, so I'm biased. Okay. I like Pizza Hut, but as far as the busiest, it always feels like Little Caesars. Is okay. Busy. Well, my favorite is also Pizza Hut. It is by far the best, so yeah. it should be the busiest. But I was actually gonna go with Domino's. Oh, okay. It's definitely not my favorite, yeah, but neither. I'm just going with it. Cause it's one that, I mean, well, Little Caesars too, they don't, well, I guess Papa John's. Pizza Hut's the only one that you can sit down in. Yeah. Um, so I don't feel like that's the busiest, yeah. but all right, let's take a look. What's the answer? Domino's. You're right. All right, there we go. It's quick. All right, next one. What is America's favorite pizza topping? A, sausage, B, mushroom, C, extra cheese, or D, pepperoni? It has to be pepperoni, right? It has to be. That's what I'm thinking. Definitely not mushroom. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. I'm pepperoni, what do you guys think? Okay, I heard some extra cheese in there. That's yeah. good. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Pepperoni. pepperoni. We, know, we know pizza pretty well. That's your crowd favorite. I mean, it's good. Yeah. All right, next one. What city is famous for deep dish pizza? A, Austin, B, Boston, C, Chicago, or D, Detroit? Shut See what they did there? They put the letter, uh, first letter of yes. every word. Okay, well, I'm going Chicago. Yeah, definitely Chicago. Okay, do you guys have any other guesses? All right, let's take a look. Chicago. It's so good. It's really good. I, I could eat pizza. some deep dish pizza right now. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. well, we might have to get that later. Yeah. All right, next one. Who was the first pizza chain to offer online ordering? 
A, Little Caesars, B, Papa John's, C, Domino's, or D, Pizza Hut? Hmm. That is tricky. That is tricky. I don't, I don't know. I want to say Papa John's. I mean, I remember when Pizza Hut started doing it because I would yes. order it. Yes. <laughs> Of I did that, so. But I don't know if they were the first. I don't know either, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm just choosing it because I really have no idea. I'm gonna go with B. Okay, you know Papa John's. What do you guys Pizza think? Hut. All right, let's take a look. You're right. Yes. Pizza Hut. Listen, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is just coming out on top. It's coming out on it's top. It's the best. I didn't even know they were the first ones. That's great. You know, actually, I worked at Pizza Hut for a short time too. Oh. I forgot oh. about that. Look at that. All right, it's I'm been a long, coming. long time. All right, next one. In what year did online ordering begin? A, 1994, B, 1999, C, 2001, or D, 2005? I'm going 2005. I don't think it was before yeah. that. I want to say D, but then I just feel like it's trying to trick us again. It could be, but I just can't imagine it being in the 90s. Yeah, I'm going to say D. Okay, what do you guys think? All right, let's take a look. Uh, 1994? Online ordering? I was two years old. I was six but we didn't have internet <laughs> for years after yeah, that okay so well yeah fun fact uh we had life without internet at all and then it took forever to access it, yes, it with dial-up so yeah. all right didn't think that was a thing all right well next one what unusual topping is popular in japan a mayonnaise b pickles c rice or d Corn. Um, I'm thinking pickles. I, I was going to go with mayonnaise. Huh. It's an interesting one. If All it right. is, that's gross. What do you guys think? You don't like mayonnaise? No. Okay, well, <laughs> I like it on normal things, not pizza. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Oh. It just seemed like it would make sense. It's like in place of the sauce or something. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. All right, well, you... Luckily, it's not popular here. Yes. All right, last question. What's the most popular day in the US to eat pizza? A, New Year's Eve, B, Halloween, C, 4th of July, or D, Super Bowl Sunday? Super Bowl Sunday. D, yeah. Easy. It's gotta be. One. If yeah. it's wrong, I feel bad, but it's I gotta be. D. All right, what do you guys think? All right, let's take a look. Oh my god. Halloween? Goodness. Halloween? Really? Y'all like pizza on Halloween? Okay. Not Interesting. Oh. I just thought everybody was more distracted with the candy. That's true. To like worry about dinner. True. All That's right. True. Well, good job. Um, I think it's time for us to get pizza. Yeah. And so. you guys, watch this. Wow, friends, that was so much fun with Kaylee playing games. Now it's time for a fun, creative moment. Now don't forget to tell your parents to submit your artwork at the Kids Coast Instagram, okay? So that you can see your artwork here at Kids Coast at home. Now let's grab our paper, let's grab our colored pencils and our markers, and let's have a seat on the ground and get ready for a fun art segment with Miss Whitney. Hey art friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Before we get going, let's check out this week's Artist of the Week. Wow, look at that, your art is incredible. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. And if you are interested in the chance to maybe be featured on one of our upcoming episodes, make sure to have your parents take a photo of your art after you finish it today, upload it to Instagram and tag us at Kids Coast. Well, y'all, you ready to get started? I am. Let's get your materials ready. Today, I have a stack of markers, crayons, a Sharpie, pencils, and an eraser. And remember, if you use a Sharpie to outline your drawing today, you need to make sure that you have another piece of paper or something to protect the surface that you're drawing on. All right. So all this month, we have been talking about the topic of patience. And today we are gonna be drawing something super cool that is important to be patient with as you eat it. 
Can you imagine what that might be? Did I hear somebody say a popsicle? Absolutely, we are gonna be drawing a bomb pop today. A popsicle, for those of you who don't know what that is. And the whole point of our popsicle today is to remind us to wait on God's timing and be patient as he works things out for our good. Because if you eat a popsicle too quickly, you might get what? Brain freeze, oh, it's the worst feeling in the whole world. So let's grab our pencils and get started. So to sketch out our popsicle, we're gonna draw a straight line about two thirds the way down our page, just like that. Next, we're gonna draw a big U shape in the shape of a popsicle. Excellent, excellent. Next, we are gonna draw the stick. So that's gonna come right out of the bottom of the popsicle. And this type of popsicle that we're drawing today is a bomb pop, and so it has three different colors in it. Red, white, and blue. So let's make three sections on our popsicle, which is done by drawing two straight lines. Excellent. And now let's draw a frowning face to show what happens when you eat a popsicle too quickly and get brain freeze. So that is a circle in the upper left-hand corner with two eyes and a big frown. And let's draw a squiggly line across the forehead to represent that brain freeze. And then some ouch marks to let us know that that person is not feeling very good. And in the bottom right-hand corner, let's make a stopwatch to remind us to stop and wait on God's timing. So first, let's draw a large circle. And inside the large circle, let's draw a smaller circle. Great work. On the top, let's do an upside down triangle. And on the side, a rectangle. So that's your stop and start. And then we'll do the numbers on the inside of the stopwatch. So at the top is what? 12, good job. Then we have three, six, and nine. In the middle, we'll draw a dot, and our short hand will point to 12, and our long hand will point to three. Great work. Now let's outline. Wonderful job. Now that we've outlined, we can go back in with our eraser and erase any pencil marks. All right, everybody, well done. So let's get our first two colors, which are red and blue, and we're gonna color in our popsicle. The top portion is gonna be red, and the bottom portion is going to be blue. And while I color, let's talk about today's Bible lesson. It comes from the book of Exodus, and in this story, the Israelites get impatient while they wait and they gather up all the gold in their camp and they melt it down and create a golden calf and they start to worship it, which is idolatry. Sometimes we can be like the Israelites and we are not patient and we don't wait on God. And so today, Let's let this popsicle and the brain freeze be a reminder that we need to resist the temptation to eat a popsicle too quickly to prevent getting brain freeze. And that's just like a life lesson. Sometimes we need to slow down 
and wait on God, resist temptation, and we can avoid getting hurt. Okay, our popsicle stick we're going to draw with brown. And next we'll pick up our yellow and color in our brain freeze man up here in the corner. And then I'm also going to make the outside of our stopwatch yellow as well. I don't know about you, but I always think of stopwatches as being gold. Golden stopwatch. I also think it would be cool to make the two buttons green and red. So we'll get green and red, red ready, and we'll make the top one, the top upside down triangle, green. And then we'll make the side of the stopwatch red for the stop start. Very good. Okay, next we're going to put our Bible reference across the top of our page, and this is from Exodus. Do you know how to spell Exodus? If you don't, that's okay. You can spell along with me. So Exodus is spelled just like this. E, X, O, D, U, S. Chapter 32, 32 and a colon, one through 35, three, five. And at the bottom of our page, we'll put the topic of our Bible lesson today, which is the golden calf. So the is spelled T-H-E. Golden is spelled G-O-L-D-E-N. And calf is spelled C-A-L-F. C A. L F. Excellent job. Okay, everybody, time to hold your artwork up and show me what you've done. Well done. Well, I don't know about you, but this makes me really hungry for a popsicle. Maybe you have a popsicle at home that you can enjoy, but in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Welcome back. It is time for another game and we are playing Find the Fake. Ooh. We're going to have a picture of a picture. We're going to see a picture. And part of it, one of them, has been created outside of actually being taken as a picture. So we just have to guess which one is the fake picture and which one is completely real. They took it with a camera and that's it. All right, let's take a look at our first one. All right, so this part of both pictures is correct. That was taken with a camera. But now, the other side, which picture is the real one? And which is the fake one? I know. It's kind of uh, hard to see here. I'm gonna say the left one is the real one. That's the real one, so that's the fake, you think? Yeah, that's what I think. I think I agree with you. I'm gonna go fake over there as well. What do you guys think? All right, let's take a look. Correct. That's the photo. That's a fake photo over there. Good job. All right, next one. Which is the correct photo? So this mm. is what we've got here. Okay. And then that is the other one. I'm saying that's the fake again. Yeah, I think that one's uh, the fake. Yeah, yeah, that one over there is the fake. Yeah. What do y'all think? Okay, what do you think? All it's right, tricky. let's see. Yeah. Yes, all right. Two for two. Yeah. We're, we're doing well. We got good eyes. All right, next one. Okay, now inside someone's house. Um, This looks like the fake, I think. I'm going fake over here. Yeah, I think this is the fake. Okay, what do you guys think? Let's take a look. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. We're doing good at this. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. All right, next one. Okay, just that little itty bitty <laughs> bit. What is the rest? Okay. Um, honestly, like this sand looks much more realistic than that, in my opinion. Like maybe, 
Hold on. I think this one's fake. You think this one's a fake? I think that one's fake. Okay, I'm... Uh, yeah, I see it back here. Those buildings or something. I'm gonna go with oh, that one being the fake. So you're going this one fake, I'm yeah. going that one. Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? Let's take a look. Ah, that's the fake. That, I said that one was the real one, right? How did yeah. I? Yeah. yeah, I said that one was real. real. You said that's fake. That's tricky. The opposite. It's All right, that was hard. All right, yeah. next one. Okay. You got a person in this one and not in that one. Huh. I'm gonna go with that one's a fake just because there's a person in this one. Like why would it, why, why would a fake one add the person? Yeah. That's where I'm at. Okay. I, I'm gonna go with that one as the fake. That one fake? Yeah. I'm going that one fake too. This is the real one. All right, let's take a look. Yes, okay, back on track for me. <laughs> back on track. We're back, okay. we're back, yeah. We've got a couple more. Let's see our next one. Okay. Got a whole picnic oh, over I there. Oh, I know. It's okay. like, wow, that's fun. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this one being the fake. Yeah, this one's a fake. I'm going to go sure. with... Yeah. I think... That one... Actually, I think that one's the, the fake. Picnic, picnic's the fake? I think that, yeah. I okay. Think fake. All right, let's take a look. Ah. Oh. You're right. The fake. All right. Yeah. Just felt like it would be weird if a picnic just appeared. Yeah. But yeah. It, these are tricky, so they who knows? Tricky. All right, last one. Let's take a look. All right. Well, that is nearly <laughs> impossible. How are we supposed to figure that out? Um, it's all like blurry and stuff. I think I'm gonna go with that one being the fake. Yeah, I'm good with that one. This one's real? All right. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let's take a look. Oh. That's the fake? Yeah. Okay, well, honestly, it was just a lot of blobs, blurry yeah. blobs, so it's hard. easy to fake blurry blo blobs. I don't know, yeah. that's tricky. All right, you guys did awesome. Now check this out. Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Kids Coast. Where you all show up to have a good time, laugh, and maybe learn a little something. Right you are, Jack, and what do we learn? Life apps. And what is a life app? Just a fancy way of labeling the things that God can put inside of you to change the world around you. Things like compassion, generosity, honesty. And today we are three weeks in talking about a very, very important life app that isn't always easy. But always worth it. Jack, would you mind revealing this month's Life App? I sure will. All right, on the count of three, I want you to yell at the Life App if you already know it. If not, just yell like crazy. You ready? One, two, three. Patience. And what does it mean? Waiting until later for what you want now. That's right. Excellent. Now, I bet you all are wondering why we're dressed the way we are. Well, Jack and I are going fishing right after Kids Coast is over today. Uh-huh. What else says patience more than fishing? <laughs> right. Um, I like those pants. What are they called again? Uh, waiters. Funny, right? We're talking about patience and I'm wearing waiters. <laughs> Waiters. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is pretty funny. You know, I must confess, guys, I had never been fishing and Jack agreed to teach me. Yep. But we're not going just plain old fishing. We're going to do a very specific kind of fishing, which requires some very specific skills that can take a very long time to learn. Yes, we are going fly fishing. Yep. Wait, is that the fishing pole you brought? Yeah, what's, what's wrong with it? Is this, he told me this was the right kind of pole, the guy at the store, is this not right? Well, what kind of fly fishing do you think we're doing? The kind where you catch fish? Ah, see, first mistake. Wait, what? No, we're going fly fishing, as in, you know, flies. Flies, like the bug? Um, you said you wanted something to test your patience. Uh, fly fishing is way harder and more time consuming than fly fishing. Okay, so what kind of pole do you use then? Okay, so first you'll use this. Wow, what is this part for? Oh, that side is for if you wanted to do butterfly fishing, but we're not going to do that. We're gonna oh, use oh. this side uh, here. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. um, so what do you use for bait? Well, it depends on the type of fly you wanna catch. Uh, so first, 
you could use one of these. Uh, a, a key? A key? Uh, a house key to catch a house fly. Right. Yep. Then there's this. <clears throat> if you want to catch a horse fly. Uh huh. Yep. Got it. Horseshoe. Uh huh. Yep. And then there's always this <clears throat> to catch a fruit fly. See, it just all depends what kind of fly you want to catch. Okay, well, um, what if you don't want to catch any flies? Oh, then you just do this. <laughs> You're gonna love this one. Uh, a shoe? Uh, yeah, shoe fly, don't bother me. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, Jack, listen, this is not what I expected at all. So do we just like stand out by the lake and throw this stuff out there? Oh, well, first you don't cast your line like normal. You just kind of stand there and you just Wait really, really still and wait for the fly to land. We stand still? Yeah, yeah, movement spooks them. Uh-huh. And second, we don't just go to the lake. Nope, best fly fishing is out in the middle of a cow pasture. A cow pasture? Okay, what's with the waders? Uh, have you ever been in a cow pasture? Okay, right, right, never mind. I mean, Forget. those cows eat a lot. Yeah. Yep, yep, we get it, we get it, we get it. Okay. Safe. Why don't you go out and grab a real fly fishing rod while I wrap up things here? Okay, okay, sure. Um, well, thanks for joining us today, kids. I hope you have a great week. I guess I'll be back. And I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Been waiting to say that all day. Your plans, your dreams are so much greater Your timing, you keep, it's always better So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect So I'm holding on, cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you got I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me Okay, I got Frisbee, Sparklers. Skyler! I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm drooling over this cupcake. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a dog toy for the puppy my cousin's bringing to the cookout later. Oh. Don't worry, we'll have real cupcakes at the real cookout. Now I gotta wait. Hello, welcome to Story Lab. This week, we're talking about patience. While we take a look at the story of some people who had a little trouble waiting. Why me? Hi.
Hi, I'm Skylar. And I'm Sebastian. Today, we're talking about patience, which is waiting until later for what you want now. I want a cupcake now. I'm still amazed this one's fake. It may be a fake cupcake, but it's a real dog toy. Hey, let's play real or fake. Great idea. Let's do it. Welcome to Real or Fake, the game show where you have to look at a photo and decide whether it's real or fake. Love this game. It'll be easy, right? Here is your first clue. Uh, hmm. Is that a mop? Hmm. I might need one of those to clean up after the cookout. Wait, that's that's not a mop. I, th I think it's a dog. Dog? Yeah. Dog? Dog. Dog. And correct! Yes! It is not a mop, but it is a dog. Yes. Next image. Is it real or is it fake? That's a lot of gold. It looks really real. But wait, I bet they're chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. 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 That is correct. Yes. These are chocolate coins. Next image. Oh, yeah. Looks like ice cream. That That's ice cream. We're going to go with ice cream? Yeah. Ice, ice cream. cream. And no. <laughs> Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. This image is actually mashed potatoes. They mm -hmm. have been dyed with food coloring. You see, advertisers often use mashed potatoes instead of ice cream because it does not melt under the lights. Tricky, tricky. It pays to have a keen eye. Next image. More food. Okay. Sebastian, stand up. Listen, friend, I know it's difficult. I know you're being challenged, but you have to wait for the cookout later. Remember this, you will be okay. You're right, I'm okay. I can play this game, we got this. Okay, what are we thinking? What? I think it's a cheeseburger. I mean, if you look at the patty, yeah. the pickles, even the sesame seeds, real. But wait, what if it's a vegetable burger with a vegetable meat? Ooh, good point. Uh, I don't trust my eyes anymore, uh, you pick. Ooh. But it looks really juicy. Okay. I think it's real cheeseburger. Yeah. Real cheeseburger? Real cheeseburger. Real, real cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. This delicious looking item is not a cheeseburger. It's cake. What? what? It's, it's cake? cake? I did not see that coming. I'd eat it either way. For sure. I'd have a hard time waiting for that one. Speaking of waiting, it's time for the story before the story. Today, we're in Exodus, the second book of the Old Testament. After God chose Abraham and promised to bless the whole world through his family, the Israelites grew in numbers. But then the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt for hundreds of years. At last, God sent Moses to lead the people to freedom. Moses led God's people into the wilderness, where God provided food and water, which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Erica. The Israelites had been living under Egyptian rule for hundreds of years. Now free, in the wilderness, they had to learn what it meant to be God's people. When the Israelites camped near Mount Sinai, God's presence descended on the mountain in fire and cloud. God called out to Moses. You have seen for yourselves what I did to Egypt. You saw how I carried you on the wings of eagles and brought you to myself. Now obey me completely. Keep my covenant. You will be my holy nation. When Moses told the people, they were all in. We'll do everything, we'll do everything, we'll do everything the Lord has told us to do. God wanted to give Moses a special set of rules that would help them stay connected to God and keep them safe. So God called Moses to come to the mountaintop. Wait for us here until we come back to you. Anyone who has a problem can go to my brother Aaron. 
Then Moses and his helper Joshua went up to the mountain. While Joshua waited, Moses went right into that cloud to speak with God. They were up there for 40 days and nights, which is a really, really long time. As you can imagine, the Israelites started to get impatient. They surrounded Aaron and demanded answers. Where is Moses? What's happened to him? Oh, please be patient. Moses will return. Yeah, you keep saying that. We need someone to lead us for reals. Like right now. You should make us a god. The Israelites were so impatient that they forgot all the ways that God had already provided for them. They forgot that they had promised to obey. Even Aaron panicked. Okay, okay, uh, here's what we'll do. Uh, uh, bring me all your gold earrings. The people brought all their gold earrings and Aaron melted them together and formed a statue of a calf a golden calf. The Israelites went all in right away. Hey, this is the God who brought us up out of Egypt. Uh, what? In their fear and impatience, Aaron and the people actually chose to worship their own golden jewelry. <laughs> Let's feast. Let's make sacrifices, eat and drink and dance before this golden calf. So that is what they did. They sacrificed burnt offerings, ate festive food, and danced wildly in front of the statue. But in the meantime, on the mountain, God spoke to Moses. Go down. Your people you brought up out of Egypt have become very sinful. They have quickly turned away from what I commanded them. Please have mercy on your people. Moses, carrying two stone tablets with God's laws, started back down the mountain. Joshua hurried along beside him. When they got close to camp, they heard a loud noise. It sounds like war in the camp. That's not the sound of battle. That's the sound of singing. As they got closer, Moses and Joshua saw the people dancing in front of the golden calf. Moses was so angry that he threw the tablets on the ground and they broke. What did these people do to you? How did they make you lead them into such terrible sin? Please don't be angry. You know how they like to complain. They, they said to me, make us a God to worship. So I asked them for their gold, threw it in the fire and out came this calf. Um, right. That calf just popped out of the fire on its own? Moses knew the truth. He was so angry that people had forgotten all God had done that he took the golden calf and burned it in the fire. Then he scattered the ashes in the Israelites' drinking water. It was a bitter reminder of what they had done. The Israelites' impatience led to some terrible things. But even when the people turned away over and over, God remained faithful and continued to provide for them on their journey in the wilderness. The end. Wow, the Israelites really crashed and burned on this one. Yeah, but when you're stressed out, it's really easy to forget all the good stuff God has done. True story. So, what's, what's our, our part, part in the story? story? When you have to wait, Take time to focus on what's true. Think of the ways that God has helped you before. You can remember that God loves you deeply, no matter what. You can remember that God is always with you while you wait. Exactly, that's true. And God has also put people in your life to help you while you wait. You know, waiting can actually sometimes make things better. Like cupcakes. If you take them out of the oven too early, you're not gonna get cupcakes. You're gonna get a gooey mess. Waiting well is hard, but remember that you don't have to do it on your own. When we follow Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to live with us. And patience is actually a gift from God's Spirit. It is a gift you can ask for. Like every day. Sounds like you both have got it. See you next time. Bye. So here's the thing. When you have to wait, remember what's true. 
I waited a long time for this cookout. Cupcake? I can wait. There are very real cupcakes at the cookout. Come on. Wait. Thanks for joining us in the story lab. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Wait for me. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. I went again. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing cornhole. Duh. And I'm really good. <laughs>Welcome to the so-and-so show. I'm John, he's Brandon, and I hope you're ready for an exciting show. Hey, you're probably wondering why we're dressed like this. Why would they be wondering that? Well, as soon as we're through with the show, John and I are headed to a spring break backyard bash. Yeah, that's right. A friend of ours named Tater Tot. Oh, his real name is Tim, but he's gone by Tater Tot his entire life. No idea why. Yeah, yeah, but Tater Tot knows how to throw a backyard party. He's yeah. an incredible cook. Smoked turkey legs. Smoked sausage. Corn on the cob. Ooh. Oh, and he also always has fun games to play. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when we played uh, bobbing for onions instead of bobbing for apples? Yeah, yeah. My eyes burned like crazy, and I couldn't see through the tears for a week. <laughs> it was amazing. Or that time we played tortilla slap, but instead of tortillas, we used giant fly swatters. Oh. All that to say, John and I are really excited about the cookout. Mm -hmm. How many times have I told you to put your phone on silent during this show? We can't do a it's show. It's tater tot. Oh, never mind. Let's see what he says. Yeah. Uh, he says, sorry, guys. It looks like the weather's about to get bad. The weather. No. Canceled. Move to next week. No! <laughs> what are we gonna do now? We've already waited a month. I don't wanna wait another week. Uh, it's not like we can throw the party ourselves. True. No, false. What, what, you think we can throw a spring break backyard barbecue? Of course. Well, it would have to be inside because it does look nasty out there, but it can't be that hard. If Tater Tot can do it, so can we. Uh Okay, what? let's have a spring break inside barbecue. games are kind of lame by ourselves. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Hey, why don't we try the barbecue? Yeah! All right. Wait, pull. This isn't working, is it? I'm afraid not. I guess the truth is no one can throw a backyard barbecue like tater tot. True. I guess we're just gonna have to be patient and wait until next week. Yeah, but it'll be worth it.
I don't want to eat this chicken. Me either. It's Bible story time with Kevin! Well, I don't know if you can call what you just did fun, but at least it was entertaining. Well, that's one word for it. But we should have just been patient and waited on tater tot. Not going to argue with you. Waiting is hard, isn't it? You can say that again. Waiting is hard. And a lot of the times, while we wait, we start thinking about the wrong thing. We begin to focus on what we're missing instead of what we can look forward to. And today's story is about exactly that. And I would love some help if you guys wouldn't mind. On it. Have fun. Perfect. It's time once again for live action flannel graph. Today's story focuses on Moses and the Israelites. Now, this happened after the Israelites escaped slavery from the Egyptian king Pharaoh. Moses led all of the Israelites to a place where they could camp. And while they were camping, Moses went up on a mountain to talk to God. I'm climbing up the mountain. Oh, here I go. Oh, I'm so old. Oh. Ah, I made it. Ah. While he was there, God gave Moses two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments carved into them. So this was a pretty important hiking trip. Meanwhile, though, the Israelites at the bottom of the mountain thought Moses was taking way too long. Lord! Moses is taking too long! We need a new God! That's right. These were the same Israelites who were saved from slavery by God and led out of Egypt by Moses. And now they didn't have the time for God and Moses to have a little chit chat. So the people gathered around Aaron, Moses' brother, who was like, he was like second in command. And they told him what they wanted which was a new God. You want me to do what? Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, what's that? A pterodactyl? Uh -huh. What? We see you. Moses let us out of Egypt and now he's Those gone. You have to do something. Get back over here, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, get get around. Around. Are you talking to me? So Aaron did exactly what you think a second in command would do. Actually, no, he did the exact opposite. Sure. Give me all your gold. I'll make something. All the gold. All the gold. Thank you. Thank you. Easy now. Okay. Easy. Oh, that's heavy. Easy. Hey. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I've got this under control. Ow, 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 ow. That's so heavy. Oh, am, ooh, wow. Am I rich? Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Over here. Okay. And we are stockpiling all the gold. E easy. I said easy. I said stop. Not so hard. One, two, three, four, five. One more. There it is. Now, now let me get to work. So Aaron melted down the gold and molded it into a golden calf. Look, everyone. It's a golden calf. Come on, everyone. Let's dance. Why aren't you dancing? Wait, you're supposed to be dancing. Come on, Jediah, you love to dance. Let's dance! Come on, you guys, it looks weird if I'm the only one dancing. The Israelites, all of them, 
dance wildly before this golden calf. And of course, God, the real one, when he saw what they were doing, it made him angry. Moses pleaded with God to have mercy on them, which God did. So Moses took the Ten Commandments back down the mountain and told them to knock it off. Whoa, Moses, sit up. Ooh, I am so mad. I could, I could, I could break the Ten Commandments. See what you made me do? I am hopping mad. You done hop? Ah! Okay, now I'm done. It was them. They scared me. I tried to run away like this. See? Speed. I speed. I so fast. I speed. I speed. 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 See? And then they told me I had to do it. So I took all the gold and I threw it into the fire. And out popped this calf. Tell them, Jediah. Well, why are you so mad at me? Well, let's just say after that, things did not go really well for the Israelites. Moses had the calf burned, grounded into a powder, mixed into drinking water, and then had the people drink it. Later, Moses went back up the mountain and returned with another set of the Ten Commandments that he did not break. The end. Whew. Let's give our flannel graphers a big round of applause. So being patient isn't easy, right? It's one of those things that we have to constantly work on. But the Israelites got caught in a trap. They started focusing on what they were missing, Moses, and they forgot all about what God had done for them. And they weren't thinking about the amazing plans God had for them. It happened to the Israelites, and it can happen to you and me if we don't remember what is true, that God loves us and that he is always with us. We forgot what was true today. Yeah, we tried to make a thrown together backyard party when we knew no one throws a party like tater tot. Yeah, it happened fast. Yeah. It does, it happens fast. But that's why you have to constantly think about what is true and what is right and be okay with waiting until later for what we want right now. It's tough, but I know you can do it. So until next time. Bye. Thanks, Kellen. Well, reveal the question. What can you think about when it's hard to wait? Well, like for this spring break party, instead of being miserable that we have to wait, maybe we could think about all the great memories we've made in the past. Yeah, and, and the new ones that we'll make at the next one. Yeah, or if you're waiting on something hard, like if you're waiting to feel better after you've been sick, yeah. you can help take your mind off things by focusing on your favorite book or your favorite episode of this show. <laughs> oh, mine's the one where you fall down. That could be any of them. That's true. Now, you can also think of all the ways God has shown up in your life in the past. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we, we should have focused on everything we enjoy about Tater Tots Cookout instead of the fact that we weren't getting to go. That's true. Uh, we should probably appreciate Tater Tot a little more, too, instead of just trying to replace him. What? We, we can't replace Tater Tot. I think today we proved that you are right. We <laughs> cannot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's from Tater Tot. Oh. The weather's clearing up. The party's back on! What? <laughs> we'll see you next week for a brand new show! Yeah, let's go, let's go, come on! Some onions. Yeah, oh, not me. I don't. Ah, it's still raining! Oh, I lied to hold on to that metal post! Well, I don't know if what you did, we could go back to don't like this. I don't like the sentence. I. <laughs> yes, nice. <sighs> Sounded great. Onion. Oh. What? Do you want an onion? No. Mm.
Oh, that's wrong. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, got it. It's good. Hey, Neil, do you want to go and play on the playground? No. When we're waiting, we have to remember what's true. As we saw in the story today, things can go left if you don't remember what's true. Now what's true is that God tells us to wait on Him, to be strong and not to lose hope. So we can wait on Him and be patient. Now let's pray and ask God to help us to remember what's true when we're waiting. Dear God, thank you so much for being with us in the waiting. Help us to remember what's true. Your word says that when we wait, we can be strong and have hope in you. God, help us to remember what's true even when things are really hard and we feel like we can't wait anymore. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, friends, that's all we have here for today, but be sure to join me right here next week for another fun day at Kids Coast at Home. I'll see you next week. Bye. To find ways to get involved at Seacoast Church, text SERVE to 320-320. There are many opportunities for families to find ways to make a difference.